Hey again everyone, Chris Winstrom here at a Marine Max Coco, here to walk you through a brand new Harris 23 foot cruiser that we just had arrive. This is a great way to introduce the family to boating or if you're thinking about owning a first boat, we highly recommend looking at a pontoon option as it's a very stable platform to have everybody feel very comfortable on the water. And Harris makes a very well built pontoon that is extremely reliable and very safe for the family. This is the 23 foot version of the cruiser done in our midnight blue fencing. And as you see, Harris does have a corrugated fence to be able to hide some of those dings and give it a little bit more rigidity than just the standard flat panel fencing. I do have mounted navigation lights on both sides, as well as stainless steel cleats all the way around the boat for tying dock lines off. And as you can see, I did also a midnight blue and navy bimini top to be able to shade you and your guests for those hotter days on the water. We'll go ahead and work our way to the aft end of the boat. As you can see, nice fencing on the side of the boat, very nice sleek lines, very characteristic to Harris's pontoons. This boat does not include a trailer, but it is an option if you'd like to add a trailer underneath the boat. Here on the aft end, I do have a reboarding ladder with a stainless steel snap. And then mounted here on the back of our tune, is a transducer for our Lowrance sky hook that we have in the boat. And this boat was powered with Mercury's four stroke outboard 90 horsepower. So a nice, boat, a nice power package to be able to get you up on plane and have some nice leisure days on the water. We'll go ahead and jump inside and show you some of the features that we have on the inside of the boat. Starting here in the back of the boat, I just wanted to show the floor plan that we chose. This is the center walkthrough design, giving me four-way couches around the boat. I have an entry point into the boat here on the aft end, as well as the front. And all of our pontoons do come with a table to be mounted wherever you'd like. We chose to mount this in the back of the boat, and this is upgraded to the black acrylic table. This is our moonlight gray interior color package with the enhanced seating package, giving me a contrast between the gray and the darker gray. And the darker gray is actually a woven vinyl, so it's a little bit more durable. And then the uh, cruiser package comes with this really nice soft touch material that actually takes a little bit of heat off of the fabric as well. Underneath all of my cushions is storage. And then in the aft starboard end is where I have my battery as well as my battery switch. And then in front of all of my couches, I do have stainless steel cup holders and two USB chargers. So I have a place for everybody to plug in their phones for the day, which is a nice feature. Storage underneath all these cushions as well. As you can see, a very spacious, expansive bimini top. So I have shade all the way up over the helm station so everybody in the back of the boat can uh, get out of the sun. Underneath this seat here is where I have an onboard trash can. It's just the bimini boot here. So I don't have to bring on a trash can for the day. I can stow all of my trash here concealed away underneath my seat. And then also a convenient side door for when I do come into a dock, I do have access in from the boat from the side, which is a nice touch as well. Behind this seat is a pull up storage compartment. So an easy place to tuck away any belongings that I'd like under there as well. Go ahead and have you switch me here and we'll look at the helm station. This is a very comfortable seat with flip down, flip up armrests. And this is actually on a recliner so I can get a little more comfy if I'd like. And then I do have a tilt base here on my upgraded steering wheel. This is all a non-skid rubberized steering wheel. So a nice comfortable place to put your hands. A Clarion Bluetooth speaker, all of my switches. This boat does have the upgraded RGB lighting in my cup holders, so all of my cup holders will have an LED ring inside. And then we did upgrade all of our cup holders to stainless as well. This is my Lowrance fish finder that we decided to option with this boat, as well as my standard gauges for Harris. Throttle assembly, so a very comfortable place for the driver to be able to uh, get comfy and kind of personalize it to their liking. Additional cup holder here, as well as underneath my throttle and a nice non-skid place to be able to throw my phone with additional USB and 12 volt plug here as well. And a small drain, so I do have some rain or if there is a wave that might come and splash the driver, this will drain down underneath the boat as well, which is nice. Speakers are recessed underneath my cushions, so they're not in the way blasting in your face, they're recessed up underneath. And I do have additional storage 
underneath all of my front compartments as well. This boat does include a boat cover, and what these poles are for is to actually keep the front line of the, uh, of the cover watertight so water will beat off the sides. So a nice option there as well. Again, this is Harris's 23 foot cruise. As you can see, plenty of space to be able to tame you and your guests. This is a great entry level boat to be able to kind of get your feet wet, experience boating a little bit in something that you trust and also has incredible resale value. So thanks again for joining us as we walk through this Harris 230 Cruiser. Again, my name is Chris and we'll see you next time.